Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. You're cruising down the highway and your car sputters and loses power. You floor the gas pedal, but your car barely picks up speed. Sound familiar? I know how common and frustrating this problem can be. But don't worry, in this video I'll walk you through the 13 major reasons your car loses power when accelerating and how to get it fixed. When your car loses power during acceleration, a few key areas could be at fault. First up, fuel system issues like a clogged fuel filter, failing pump, or dirty injectors can restrict the vital flow of fuel your engine craves. Then, there is the air your engine needs to mix with that fuel a blocked air filter, or leaks in the intake can choke off that supply. Ignition woes, including faulty spark plugs or defective coils, disrupt the spark that ignites this mix, while problematic sensors like the MAF, or O2 can feed bad data to your engine's brain, needing a reset to clear up confusion. Lastly, if your exhaust can't vent, thanks to a blocked catalytic converter or a stuck EGR valve, it's like trying to run with a plugged up nose. Performing a PCM reset can also help restore lost power. It recalibrates the engine control parameters to optimize performance. Now, let's discuss each one in detail so that you can quickly diagnose the car acceleration problem. Number one, clogged fuel filter. The purpose of a fuel filter between fuel pump and fuel injectors is to filter out all impurities in the fuel before it is injected into the engine. A clogged fuel filter bottlenecks fuel delivery. Accelerating demands more fuel, but the restricted filter can't keep up, resulting in hesitation and loss of power. Check by blowing through the inlet port. Resistance indicates blockage. Number two, failing fuel pump. The fuel pump maintains consistent fuel. A failing pump can't deliver sufficient fuel under acceleration, making the engine feel weak and sluggish. Listen for whining or lack of humming around the gas tank. If you hear whining sound or no sound at all, it means fuel pump is bad. Number three, dirty fuel injectors. Fuel injectors are valves that open and close at a certain rate to spray fuel in a certain pattern. Dirty injectors have uneven spray patterns, undermining efficient combustion. This causes power loss when accelerating as the engine struggles to burn fuel properly. For all three fuel system problems discussed till now, you need to perform a fuel pressure test. Number four, dirty engine air filter. The air filter, located in the engine's air intake system, cleans incoming air before it reaches the combustion chamber. A blocked air filter reduces airflow into the engine, throwing off the air to fuel mixture. This hampers combustion, sapping power when accelerating. A dirty air filter appears dark gray. If the air filter is original, it can work fine up to 15,000 miles, so you can reuse it by blowing compressed air through it. If you are using a cheap aftermarket air filter, don't use it for more than 5,000 miles. Number five, vacuum leaks. Vacuum leaks in the air intake system introduce excess, unmeasured air into the engine, disrupting the optimal air to fuel ratio. These leaks, often found in hoses, gaskets, or the intake manifold, undermine engine performance. During acceleration, the imbalance caused by extra air leads to rough idling, misfires, and a noticeable drop in power, as the engine struggles to maintain a smooth and efficient combustion process. You can open the engine hood and listen for any hissing sound. This will indicate vacuum leaks. Moreover, if you spray brake cleaner on the engine bay and its RPM changes, it will also indicate that there is a crack somewhere in the engine air hoses. You can perform a smoke test too for detecting vacuum leaks. Number six, faulty spark plugs. Spark plugs ignite the air fuel mixture. Located at the top of the engine cylinders, spark plugs can become fouled or damaged over time. When they don't function properly, the engine experiences uneven power delivery, particularly noticeable during acceleration, leading to a significant loss of efficiency and performance as the engine struggles to maintain a consistent power output. To diagnose spark plugs, you can take them out and observe signs of black carbon soot, ash, or oil deposits. Number seven, faulty ignition coils. Ignition coils, located atop the engine or near the spark plugs, transform the battery's low 12 volts voltage into the high voltage needed for spark plugs to ignite the fuel. A bad coil leads to weak sparks, causing misfires, especially under acceleration, resulting in power loss as the engine fails to combust fuel efficiently. To test bad ignition coils, you can look for signs of corrosion and cracks on the ignition coil. The body of the ignition coil can crack and the terminal of ignition coil can have corrosion signs. Number eight, malfunctioning camshaft sensor and crankshaft sensor. Camshaft and crankshaft sensors measure the position and speed of their respective shafts. Their purpose is ensuring precise timing for fuel injection and ignition in the engine. Malfunctioning camshaft and crankshaft sensors send incorrect data to the PCM, leading to disrupted engine timing and misfires. This results in a significant loss of power during acceleration as the engine struggles to maintain efficient combustion and speed synchronization. 
Number nine, blocked catalytic converter. Exhaust components like the catalytic converter can become clogged and restrict airflow, causing back pressure that chokes the engine during acceleration. The back pressure makes the engine work harder. When you step on the gas to accelerate, the engine can't get rid of the exhaust easily. This reduces the engine's power and makes the car feel sluggish. The engine can't burn all the fuel properly either, so you lose power. To diagnose a bad catalytic converter, use OBD2 scan tool and see if there is P0420 code. Number 10, stuck EGR valve. The EGR valve recirculates small amounts of exhaust gas back into the engine intake. This cools the combustion temperatures to reduce NOx emissions. A stuck open EGR valve allows too much exhaust gas to recirculate. This dilutes the air to fuel mixture and makes it harder for the engine to ignite it properly. The reduced combustion leads to a loss of power, especially under acceleration when more power is demanded. To diagnose bad EGR valve, you can perform a vacuum test. Use a vacuum pump gauge to check if the vacuum is reaching the valve diaphragm when activated. No vacuum means EGR valve is stuck closed. Number 11, malfunctioning mass airflow sensor. The mass airflow sensor measures the amount of air entering the engine. It sends this data to the engine computer to help calculate the proper fuel injection and ignition timing. A contaminated or defective MAF sensor sends inaccurate airflow readings to the ECU. This leads to an improper air fuel mixture, causing reduced power, stumbling acceleration, and possible stalling. The ECU may turn on the check engine light and goes into reduced power mode. To diagnose a bad MAF sensor, use a multimeter to check the output voltage of MAF sensor. When you increase RPM, the voltage should increase from 1 volt to 1.7 volts. You can try cleaning the MAF sensor using a brake cleaner. It works in most cases. Number 12, malfunctioning oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor monitors the oxygen levels in the exhaust to help the engine computer calculate the proper air fuel mixture. A failed oxygen sensor provides a false lean or rich reading to the computer. This causes the ECU to incorrectly adjust the fuel trim, leading to a poorly calibrated air to fuel mixture. Too much or too little fuel reduces combustion efficiency and engine power. Acceleration and suffers too. You can use a multimeter to measure the oxygen sensor's signal voltage. Abnormal readings outside the 0.1 to 0.9 volt range are a red flag. Number 13, compression loss. The engine's compression allows the air fuel mixture to be ignited and generate power. Worn piston rings, leaking head gaskets, and faulty valves can cause compression loss that diminishes combustion efficiency and acceleration capability. Conduct a cylinder compression test to identify low compression issues. I hope this overview gives you a better sense of why your car might be experiencing acceleration problems. Let me know in the comments if you've dealt with power loss in your vehicle and what the cause ended up being. If you want to dive deeper into diagnosing car acceleration problems, check the link down below in video description where I have linked a handy guide. Be sure to like and subscribe for more auto repair tips. Thanks for watching.